Lindsay Wisdom Hilton is in her second season with the Longhorns as assistant coach and recruiting coordinator this year. Before that, coached at Purdue, Wisconsin, and Boston College, 13th overall pick in the 09 WNBA draft, and one of the greatest players in Purdue women's basketball history. Coach Wiz, as they call her, joins us now. Coach, we're happy to have you on. I wanted to ask you right away, this is the first thing I heard about you, is that right when you were hired, you arrived, and Vic immediately put you on the plane to recruit a certain player from Mississippi by the name yes. of Madison Booker. Tell me about that whole experience. Uh, definitely will not forget that. I landed probably around, like, say, 8 or 9 in the morning. Uh, Christy Smith picked me up. We went from the main terminal. Boston Airport drove to the private plane area then our whole staff we met I'm changing literally <laughs> from regular clothes to Texas gear in the car get to the other airport and we take off uh, to see Madison Booker um, that was a very important visit but it just so happened to be my first day and coach was like you sure you're up for it I said absolutely why not so first day on the job private jetting to see one of the best players in the country we ended up getting there and obviously the, the rest is history and what she's doing now with our program and you know coach even though he's asking you he's not really asking yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> he you to be there. Uh, was that the first time you'd seen her in person play um, well we actually went to a home visit so we got to see her family mm. Um, and we get, actually, I got to see her a game as well. Um, you know, I just think it was just first time live in a high school setting. I have seen her, knew who she was in AAU. Obviously, everyone kind of knew who she was, but never really recruited her, so didn't watch her intently. So to be able to see her and then see meet her family, her mom, her grandma, everybody, uh, was just a nice, intimate setting. And obviously, I think it set us over the top, and we were able to get her. What did you think about her the first time you saw her play? You could see her teammates there with their mouths <laughs> wide open. It's just an awe. She just had a knack for the game. Yeah. for the ball she's so smart she's very um selfless um she likes to pass a lot and especially in her high school she tries to get her teammates involved but sometimes we need her to kind of take over and that's kind of now the role that she's taken here especially with rory being out we need her to be a little bit more selfish and being able to take her shots get our run our team and things like that but we need her to score obviously and she's just a very high prolific player who can do a little bit of everything in high school and aau and then now she's it's carrying over to the college so that was your first recruiting visit to see madison booker how did you originally get Get connected with Texas what led to the hire um, just sometimes it's who you know you know and obviously I've been coaching for a long time now going about over 10 11 years um, but Christy Smith is the first person I, I used to coach with her at Purdue actually in my beginning years and she's our Dobo on staff uh, director of basketball operations and so we've known each other over the years just kept in touch um, I've known Sydney we actually Sydney Carter we had training camp together back in Chicago from WNBA so I've known of these people sometimes over the years but to get connected I think uh, through coach Schaefer um, he called and reached out when I was at Boston College and kind of the rest is history but uh, I was happy to get the opportunity to, to even talk with him about potentially being on his staff and it all seemed to work out just work like magic and and here we are and I love it I'm so happy that I was able to come here and we have a great team great program but an even better staff as well good people you had a phenomenal career at Purdue but heading into your senior year you tore your ACL how have you relayed those experiences yes. to Rory Harmon and how to handle that and how to get through that whole thing um, I think just being there for her emotionally and giving support as much as you can. And even Amo, uh, Leah Moore last mm -hmm. year, she went through the same thing. Just talking to them, because they're going to see certain challenges as they go through this process. And obviously, Roy just had her surgery, so she's going the very beginning stages of her rehab. But getting your mind mentally being able to convince yourself that you can play and be back to the player you are, because it's, it's a struggle sometimes, emotionally and mentally. Um, so helping them over that hump. And then once they're kind of cleared and ready to go full leash, like Amo right now, she's just playing at another level. Level. She feels so confident in her knee and her body and what she can do. You say, how long does it take for a player to feel comfortable, kind of like their old selves coming off that? You know, it varies. I think everybody, you know, some people come back quick. And Coach always talks about Sydney Colson, her being able to come back four or five months from ACL. Some people a little bit longer. It just depends on your body type, your recovery. Um, but I think, you know, six, seven, eight months, some, usually people are kind of starting to feel themselves, get back to themselves and their, their old selves physically, mentally, and things like that. Um, I think Amo's starting to click now. She's getting more time. She's feeling more conditioned. She's just got that confidence about her that she just can do anything and everything, and we're excited for that. And I know Roy's going to be the same way when she comes back. You're in charge of the post players. What have you noticed about this group specifically? I mean, Vic, when he hired you, had high praise for you, saying it was it was part of the reason he brought you on the staff because of your great work with the post players. And is Madison Booker part of that yeah. group? Because technically <laughs> she's playing point guard now, but she, she can is. play everywhere. She is. She's uh, one through four.
four for us. I don't yeah. know if we can quite give her that center <laughs> position, but you know, we do. If we feel like there's a mismatch, we can have her down low, uh, posting on some smaller guards. But I think our size is what sets us apart. I think every other coach in the conference has been like, you guys just have so much size. And so in any given night, we have players who can go off for 10, 12, Taylor, Deanna, Hattie, Amo, Amina. I mean, it's just, it's just pick your poison at that point. So I think the size and the depth that we have down there is very special and unique, and we want to make sure we take advantage of that. I heard you were so passionate about the game growing up that you used to write yourself notes as a little <laughs> kid saying that you were going to play professional basketball. Mm -hmm. What led to that love of hoops? Oh, gosh, I know. I feel like I did definitely. I want to give my, my father some props because I got his skill. He used to play. He actually played at Oklahoma mm -hmm. uh, in college back in the day. So I was when we first went there last year, I was looking for him to see if he's in the stands or anything like that and some signs. But um, I, I got the talent from him. But just young age, my mom put a ball in my hand and I just loved it and played, you know, little league basketball and then just kind of grew from there. And um, I actually grew up in Texas for a little bit then before I moved to outside of Chicago. So um, I, I just loved it and kept with it. It's the only sport I played. Now everybody's asked, do you play other sports, volleyball? And nope, just one just sport. Just basketball. Just basketball. I had a school project and I wrote kind of my dreams and goals. And I found that cleaning out some things and said that I was going to be a coach. I was going to be in WNBA. And then it just kind of happened in life. And, and that's why I'm very happy. I'm very blessed to have the family support to be able to help me get through these challenges and these things through life. Before we let you go, I found a quote by you that was just fascinating to me. It was something along the lines of, the ball is going to stop bouncing one day. It happens to everybody. Then you have to learn how to navigate life. And I know you put a lot of pride in that in teaching these players to prepare for life after basketball. How are you doing it with this group? What is that message? Just kind of talking about the challenges, they're going to see some things on the court, but how are you going to learn from that and carry it into real life? Um, and then some things that they, they, these kids go through a lot, personal, family, relationships, things like that. So help them talk to them through those things so they can help navigate and do, and do better the next time the situation comes up. Um, but I always want to just be a, a listening board and a sounding board for them when they are having some hard days. You know, some kids come in and practice, say, hey coach, I'm struggling a little bit today. So you know, pumping them up, cheering them up, encouraging them so they can get through these days because it's not easy being a student athlete, especially nowadays with all the pressures and things that they have um, up against them. And then everyone, they also have to deal with personal things going on with them. So just being there for them, being supportive. Um, and then, you know, sometimes giving them a little kick in the butt sometimes when they need <laughs> Everybody it. needs that. You know, these kids always sometimes feel like they, they know what's best, but, you know, we've, we've lived it and we've experienced it. So giving, sharing my life experiences with them um, and sometimes giving them a little nudge to help them get through some problems, uh, maybe give them different views and different outlooks they maybe didn't think of that um, as they're going through their struggles so love the words of wisdom coach Wiz <laughs> thank you so much